The void is the emptiest biome in Minecraft, with no structures, no weather, and no mob spawns. People have beat Minecraft from everywhere else, but have they beat Minecraft from nothing? Probably yes, but I'm doing it anyway. Now you would think this wouldn't work very well, because I'm turning off generate structures over here. You actually have a pretty good point, because I literally can't do anything in this current state. So the first thing I needed to do was remake the world. But I couldn't do it in the same version, I needed to do it in an earlier version where the bottom of the world was higher up. Because when you spawn the void platform it spawns you 4 blocks above the bottom of the world. Which means that in this new world I couldn't load into any version before the height limit was that low. Next I needed to transfer the world to a very specific version, Beta 1.9 Pre-Release 3. Now this version is pretty difficult to install because it's not in the normal launcher, but I did eventually get it figured out and then I loaded up the world. Now we can launch this world. Uh. So even though it gave me the right blocks, the void biome didn't exist in that version. So it just regenerated the entire world completely differently, which would invalidate the challenge if I were to play it out. So I needed another option, and that option turned out to be the April, April Fools Fools updates. Update. You see, every year Mojang releases an April Fools update, which sometimes contains more content than an actual update. So the one that we're going to be taking advantage of today is last year's, 23W13A or B. To do this I first had to port the world into that version which was pretty difficult because it's not even a regular Minecraft version. But I was able to do it by using this tool called NBT Explorer to change the version tags of the world. Alright so I've done a little bit more NBT editing, hopefully this works. So if we launch this, now we should load in, we did it, let's go. So this is Minecraft A or B on the void world. Hold on, did I just play several uninterrupted seconds of gameplay without me explaining what I was doing? Unacceptable. So basically this update has a bunch of different proposals that can do different things inside the world if you vote for them. The one we're going to be looking for is one that just gives you items. And proposal 1 has started. Alright, so what we're looking for- oh, big head mode is amazing. But okay, so what we're looking for is basically we need 10 obsidian. So I kind of didn't think of this at the time, but it turns out that rolling until I get the exact right item might be a little bit rare. So, this was going to be kind of the craziest grind of the video. As you can see, we have this, but also we have give item. A looted ocean so you can fish up any item. But we did get another give item, and I could get wood from this one. Um... I'm like 90% sure resistance 5 makes it so that you can't die. Before this I've been resetting on the same boat, which is number 18, but at this point I'm just gonna wait for it. I feel like we're finally getting somewhere. We got set duration of new boats to 1 to 1 minute, so everything's gonna go by super fast now. Bro, there's absolutely no way. Oh my, I literally gasped when I saw this. <laughs> All right, new plan. I just realized that husk can give you iron because they work like zombies. Let's go. We got one. All right, that's all I care about. Now we need gravel to light the portal. Obviously, that montage made us a lot of progress, but there's still a lot left to do. First of all, I need gravel so I can get flint, make a flint and steel, and light the portal. Second of all, I need books and quills. And you might be thinking, oh, pixelated, what do you need books and quills for if you're going to the nether? And that's exactly it, because I'm not. In this world, the nether isn't actually very useful, because although it has resources, it doesn't have structures. So we actually need to make use of a completely different April Fool's snapshot, 20W14 Infinite. But before I did that, I went on a little side quest where I thought I could go to the moon, but I actually couldn't, so I spent like half an hour doing that. But don't worry about it, come on. <laughs> the only thing you really need to know about this is that I got a stack of pottery shards that allow you to make decorated pots, and I also got a separate proposal that makes it so that whenever you break a decorated pot, you get an emerald. Not that they're helpful in any way, but we have emeralds. Alright, well I just got these mangrove buttons and I'm feeling kind of lonely, so I feel like I'm going to build myself a house. And there we are, our beautiful house. Also, I can't find the clip, but at some point I got this proposal that replaces the recipe output of cherry blinks with book and quill, which would be absolutely huge later on. Uh, Alright, we just hit proposal 1000, but we still do have a problem. I have this really nice house here, I have some cherry fence gates around it, amazing decoration. But unfortunately, 
we still don't have any gravel or a book and quill. So I haven't even gotten any water or anything. I've had this world open for 12 hours. As you can see, I'm on proposal 1500. This is taking so long. I've researched every other possible way to do this. I cannot figure it out. I have no clue what to do. Book proposal. Yes, I'm, I'm just going to vote for this one. You're at 1600, bro. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> kind of insane. If I get gravel, that would be good. Oh, Wandering Trader. Oh, I know I said the progress started before, the, but this is where it actually starts, because Wandering Traders are huge. Plus, I have infinite emeralds, so I can just buy anything I want from them. Oh, also, if I get water, that would be good. Wait, okay, so this Wandering Trader gives me water. If I get a fishing rod, then I can fish infinite items. I you have infinite water. Yep. And now I can fish in the item. Wandering trader. Oh, cherry. I can get cherry. Oh, let's go. Oh, nice. Alright, time to make some fucking clothes. I mean, I don't think I'll need any more, though. So I built another portal, but then I probably had the most important realization of the entire video. Wait, hold up, I might be an absolute idiot. So a while ago, I got this thing that said, um, uh, replace drops of blue orchid with fishing rod. I don't know if I recorded it, but it turns out I still have more wandering traders. So I could still get a blue orchid. Let's go. If it doesn't give me it, I'm just going to reset on the last one, by the way. So, you know, oh, blue orchid. All right, this is insane progress. Yes, let's go. Fishing rod. This is the greatest achievement of my life. That's kind of sad, isn't it, actually? Having the fishing thing probably like 20x my production of items. So I was able to get stuff way faster now. So it wasn't too long before I got enough stuff to switch to 20W14 infinite and actually start progressing. Oh, no way we got a fire charge. Okay, I look really stupid, but um, <laughs> let's go. After 2675 proposals, 1.15 days with the world open, 1,684 votes, all of this random junk. We finally done it. We had the stuff to switch to another update so that we can actually beat the game. So the next step actually took a really long time because transferring versions is not easy. But I'm gonna skip over that because I feel like you've probably already seen enough of that for one day. Alright, so I know this seems a little bit suspicious, but the only way I could find to do it deleted everything in the world except for my inventory. Alright, so I've loaded up the vote version again. What we need to do is get the city in, so I need to vote until I can get one more diamond. Alright, we got a diamond block, that's kind of insane. I think this should be a good amount of stuff, this should be pretty much everything I need. Alright, a little bit more NBT editing later, and hopefully this will work. It did! No way. We did it, we got all of our stuff, we're in 20w14 infinite. Alright, so I've done a little bit of testing, and it turns out that many of the hard-coded dimensions won't generate, simply because I have generate structures turned off. But for now, what we can do is just go to a bunch of random dimensions to get try and get some gear. So I'm just gonna put some random stuff in here, you know. Let's, let's check this dimension out. Some of these can crash your game as well. Oh nice, it's a little pond. <laughs> this is gonna be so hard to watch and to play. Wait, those are end gateway blocks. Oh, I'm 8,000 bucks away. I did not do that math properly. All right, we're back here. Let's try out a different dimension. Sky block. Surely I can just play sky block, right? Uh, I don't think we're in Skyblock anymore. <laughs> oh, and these are decaying leaves, so I need to get out of here fast before my game crashes. So I went to a couple of other dimensions, but they were all pretty useless until I came up with the genius solution to beat the game. Alright, so unfortunately, because I have generate structures off, the only way to access the end is by finding the right code for it. But luckily, I just found it online. So I should be able to just get a book and quill, throw it into this portal here, and then go to the end. But before I do that, I want a bow, because that just makes it easier to beat the game. I proceeded to spend a bunch of time in the nether, but I never really got anything out of it. I was trying to get arrows from piglins, but I wasn't able to. So, I just decided to go to the end and meet the game. 
Uh, I'm just going to leave the nether for now, and let's head to the end. So if we put this in the book, throw it in here, that should take us to the end when we go in it. If we enter this portal, we should be finally making it to the end after, I don't even know, over a full day of gameplay. Oh, and I'm gonna try purling. This is why you don't try purling without being good at the game. Right here. It's kind of counterintuitive that the closer you get to these. Survived that. That was the last one. Let's go. Now we wait for the perk. How am I dying? Uh, I was doing so good too. All right, this is it. Right here. Let's go. Like at least three different versions over a day of playtime. Beat the game from literally nothing. Alright, last time you guys yelled at me because I didn't grab the egg, so I'm grabbing the egg. Where'd it go? Uh, it's right there, I'm blind. There you go, you happy now?